tougher week on the track this week, given what happened last weekend? Uh, we had a solid um, hit out today. I think no matter what, it was going to be a solid hit out with um, obviously this weekend off. But um, yeah, our effort on the weekend wasn't good enough. And um, yeah, we didn't pay for it today, but we worked really hard to, to, um, to rectify what we didn't do really didn't do well on the weekend. Um, and yeah, the boys had a, a good hit out, and you know we'll, we'll learn a lot from not only training but last weekend's performance. Good to have something bad like that happen early rather than in the regular season itself. Oh, I don't think it's it's ever good to, to play like we did. I mean, it was a, it was a half of a bouquet footy at the start, and then you know no effort in the in the second um, second half. So, I mean, our, our playing group's um, better than that. We we, we realised that it wasn't good enough uh, performance from from us as a group. But I mean, it is it is uh, early on in the year, and, and we are able to um, to rectify it and fix that um, through training today, which I thought was you know really good. And then obviously next week's performance is going to be pretty crucial going into to round one. We want to play, you know. It might not be a, a win, it might be, you know, it, it's just got to be the effort and, and the Port Adelaide style of footy that we want to play. Um, I think we can we can hang our heads high on that. Um, I think that's a, a good way. Jackson, just obviously with the leadership group, with a situation like that, and the old guys have been all reappointed, do, do they bring it together and uh, have a chat with the players and say, OK, well, this is not up to scratch? Yeah, I think the, um, I mean, the boys will, uh, in the leadership group will be very strong about that, but I think... Um, I think as a footy, footy club, you know when you come off the field and you know you haven't played that um, good footy. I think the week before against Sydney with a, a really young side, we still we still didn't get the result that we're after, but um, the effort was there. And I think that's just what we need to be able to produce um, consistently throughout the year, throughout the quarters. Um, you know, to, to be satisfied with your effort and um, the results will take care of themselves. And we've really prided ourselves on that through the pre-season and, and to dish up what we did on the weekends. Um, yeah, not acceptable as I said, but. Um, we did just quote it is early on in the year and we can fix that pretty quickly. Talking about leadership group, you, you were in it for a few years but not this year. Does that change your approach at all? No, not at all. I mean, um, I'm, I'm pretty vocal out in the field. I know some of the things that I've got to work on. Obviously, my, my body didn't um, allow me to play as, as good a footy as what I wanted to last year. So, I mean, I'll, I'll sit back and, and still do my um, my leadership out in the field, but um, I'll take an approach to, to get my body right and, and give the performances that I really want to for the, for the team. Um, this year and yeah, I think that the boys in there now have got a good balance and, and they'll take care of that Which is good. Uh, talking about your role. Are you expecting a bit more ruck work this year? Or do, do you know? How will the uh, prob probably now with um, obviously Paddy not being, being here um, I think me and Westy will take a little bit more um, ruck work than what we, we would have thought um, if we had Paddy but um, yeah, I think me and uh, and Westy will be able to, um, you know, fill in for for that um, that second pinch hit ruckman, and I think we've done it at times for the last you know two or three years anyway before Paddy was at the club. So I think we'll um, we'll definitely get a role in that and and, and pinch hit in the ruck. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy. I mean, the, the bigger bodies, but I do do enjoy getting in and having a bit of a run around and, and just bringing that aggressive aggressive style of, of footy. Um, Obviously, in, in patches, it's good, and, and then to get back down back. So it's going to be a bit of a balancing, balancing act, um, but Kenny and the coaching staff will take care of that. Do you think Logue's going to bounce back to that 2014 form after Paddy dropped most of last year when he was fit? Yeah, I think so. I think um, Logue's has had a, a really good pre-season. His body's um, in, in good nick, and obviously us as a team are, are really relying on him to get back to that really good form. And, um, yeah, we've got all confidence for, for, for um, Logue's. And, when he does get his body up and running, he's able to, you know, ruck most of the game out, which is which is good for us. Yeah, I think it's um, you know one of the first NAB cups I've played for about three or four years. So um, yeah, my body's as, as good as it's been for, for four or five years, which is which is good for me. I've got a lot of confidence in my body holding up this season, and I'm just hoping to get through a, a full year. Obviously, I got through the the full pre-season after an operation um, towards the the latter half of last year. So. I couldn't be any happier with what um, you know the physios and, and Tim Parham and, and the boys Darren Burgess they've, they've put a lot of work into a couple of us that, that needed that um, with our rehab and yeah we couldn't be any happier with that. Early on I did, uh, but yeah I haven't played a full season for a while and I haven't actually played a nab cup or done a pro season for a while. So at the moment just ticking boxes, touch a bit of want to find a bit of wood at, <laughs> at the moment. But yeah, touch a bit of wood. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. Um, it's all all tracking really well. And uh, yeah, as I said, I couldn't be any happier with my body at the moment. Is there any issue with fitness around the squad? I know a couple of years you know went to Dubai and did big trips and that sort of thing it didn't necessarily happen this year. So, but tailing off towards the end of games, the last two. 
Uh, if you come out and saw us train here, um, you'd know that fitness is not an issue for this football club. I think that's one of our, our strong points and I'm going to back in Darren Burgess and the team um, with our fitness um, and you'll see during the year that we're a fit football club. Yeah, Charlie's an interesting one. Um, I didn't get a lot of time on him just because um, we're on the same team, which was which was good because he, he he's a monster. Um, I mean, even when he was up at Gold Coast, he was always a, a hard target. And, um, he was probably similar. Didn't get a, a pre-season in, but he's he's had most of his pre-season. His body's in good nick. He's he's ready to play next week, and um, he's going to cause some some headaches because he's, he's he's a big, strong man. I think he's about 110 kilos, but then he's he's really good at ground level, and and, and his pressure is is awesome. So. He's going to be exciting to have on our team. I'm, I'm glad I'm not playing on him, which is good. Is he back to play next week? Uh, yeah, from, from all, well, um, all reports, he'll, he'll be playing next week. I think he's aiming to, to get it one hit out. Um, he's been training. I think he's back in um, on our training session on Saturday. So with uh, fingers crossed that he'll be playing next week and then obviously leading into to round one against St Kilda, which he'll, he'll definitely be there.